The following presentation does not represent Australian opinion or intellect. We do not speak for any religious order or ethnic minority. We are not political scientists or uni graduates. We are insignificant upper lower class scum, comparing notes and airing grievances. It's just our opinion. Deal with it. So GST will ever be part of our policy. Never, ever. Never, ever. It's dead. If they don't like it, go back to where they're part. It is a big idea. No, we don't need them. A new world order. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a beautiful place. By, by 1990, no Australian child will be living in poverty. I'm vaping. <laughs> Why are you vaping? I'm gonna, I've been out of cigarette. Hear that, hear that vape. <laughs> oh, I'm blocking the mic. Um, I haven't had a cigarette in five days. You'll be back. Will I? <laughs> Thank, thanks for the confidence, St. Nick. No worries. I was about seven, eight days in. Oh, really? Dude, why? Why are you vaping? Stop smoking cigarettes. Really? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. L- legit, like you actually want to quit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't had one in five days. Vaping's cutting it for me. It's good. How do you feel? Yeah, fine. <laughs> but it, like, I don't know, some people say it doesn't work for them, but for me, it, like, replaces the habit really good. Like, I don't even think about cigarettes now. You just Yeah, but you're <gasps> cracking for the vape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> he wakes <laughs> up. <laughs> just... Actually, before I came here, I couldn't find it, and I was full, like, panicking, lifting my <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yeah, man. Like, like, like what's panic- the and difference? And across your mind, should we get a pack of smoke? Panic stations. Yeah. <laughs> Can you, Especially his house, too, because oh, it's like... Oh, Nick, Nick the devil, did it cross your mind, pack of smoke? So... <laughs> yeah, it did, didn't it, though? <laughs> just... For a second, a split second. <laughs> Just, I'm that little kid on the shoulder going, yeah, yeah, yeah. do it, do it. And then it switches over to me on the other side. Just, Go ahead, do it. <laughs> it's like, wait, uh, one of you meant to tell me not to do it. <laughs> it's just, do it. Have a, have a smoke, mate. You've done well. <laughs> nah, you're the smoking you just, angel. Treat, yeah, treat little, yourself. What's one little, one little drag? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now that I know, because I didn't know. Man. I saw you with it today at work. I was going to ask you, but I, I was vaping inside while I was working. I don't know if you're allowed to, but... Where were you? You're probably not allowed to, but... Just as I was working. <laughs> where? Like, on the floor. I, like, just pull it out as of my... As in picking? Yeah. <laughs> you're not meant to, you idiot. It's the same as smoking. Oh, because it said on the packet, um, it's good for indoors. Yeah, but not at work. Because it doesn't release as many noxious fumes as, like, yeah, say, a packet to Siggy. Zero fumes. No, but that's still not a replacement, man. Like, you're not allowed. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get away with that? Did anyone see you? No. Oh, yeah, you're hiding in the quarantine room or something. <laughs> no, so I... in the back, there's a quarantine room. <laughs> jump off. Yeah, right in the back, back corner of the warehouse, man. There's a quarantine room where you just put overflow stock and yeah. stuff like that. It's always empty. Like, you usually just, you go in, you dump something yeah. and you leave. I said about three, four years ago, me and, me and uh, Bennett at work, we were talking about starting a fight club. But in that, in that back corner. Oh, in the quarantine room. Yeah. <laughs> like managers versus casuals, you know, full-timers versus supervisors. That's <laughs> it. Like, throw them in the pit. It would be like pit fights, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, casuals would murder that shit. Oh, yeah. We're toughened. We it's are toughened. the edge. <laughs> with the edge. Yep. Oh, did you see the... Um, oh, oh what? nice t-shirt. He's a soldier. Dude. Hey. So Jimmy just whipped off his shirt and he's wearing a muscle white shirt that says <laughs> soldier. And he it's, not a muscle it's, it's a muscle tee. It's a muscle Okay, it's not a muscle, <laughs> muscle shirt, but he makes it look like a muscle shirt. With I his, your mind. With his <laughs> what are you, nuts? <laughs> man. That's, hey, hot. That's hot. This is from New York, man. Nike. Locker. Nike, soldier t-shirt. Yeah, cool. this guy bought a, the Celtics uh, throwback, yeah. remember? It was like a yeah. dress. Oh, Celtics. Yeah, man. Dude, Trader. it was a Celtics. Celtics. Nah. I just liked it because like, yeah. it was like, it's cool. Yeah. And I went, bought it from New York. Yeah. But wrong but, place to buy it. Man, it was yeah. a small on this guy and it was seriously like a dress. Dude, it was huge. I we left it. it huge. The, the, our mate that was traveling with us, like did the road trip with us. Yeah. We gave it to her like she was cold. So he's given it to her, man. It was seriously like a it's night like a blanket. <laughs> yeah. It was like a night. I'll go, like put, a I'll go, I'll go put this on. She's like, all right. She went, and I swear to God, <laughs> she could have worn it with some heels. Yeah. <laughs> That's around. it. Like a piss set of kicks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much larger Americans are, yeah? Just like in Dude, general. I, I was looking for the smaller size and it was small and it was huge. But do I remember, man? Being in New York like the second time. Maybe it was the second time around. I yeah. can't remember. Or maybe even the first one. But we're sitting in the subway coming up from like um, Harlem or something. Yeah, yeah. And we're heading back downtown. And then this guy, like, he's sitting across, he's si- sitting next to me. And he's just like, I can't remember, I think he might have said it in Greek as well. And he's just like, now I understand why all the sizes are f- so fucking big. <laughs> I'm like, why? And we look, he just like nudged me, just like, look over there. We looked across from us. 
And it was just this normal... Du- it was a dude and his daughter, man. Like an African-American dude and his daughter. Yeah. They weren't obese. No. But he was just like 7'3". And she was like 6'2". Yeah. She was like 6'2". She was like 12. <laughs> Far out. And I'm like, yeah, man. That's what I know. Yeah. Man. You know, everything's... It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. Everything's supersized, but... Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Bigger is better. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I want to go to America. Do it. Bad. Do it. Do it. Flights, man, flights to LA now, they can get them like a grand. Yeah, like I want to go, go to the West Coast, like San Diego, LA. Uh, San Diego. I think you'd like you'd like New York, man. Oh, really? Yeah, you'd yeah, get lost I love in beach, New York. beach and sun and shit, so. Yeah. Mal- Malibu. <laughs> yeah, but like, LA's different, man. Like, um, I reckon you'd probably get lost in San Francisco. You'd like San Fran. There's a lot of hipsters and a lot of, like, just markets. <laughs> <and> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 it's no, no it's, like, it's nice. Yeah. But do you, like... If you go to the States, it's a crime not to go to New York, man, just because... It's New York. It's New York, man. Yeah. Like, it's it's not to be cliche, like, oh, it's yeah. the happiest place in the world. It's, it's, it's it isn't. not. We, it we, isn't. I swear, we were there one night, it was like a full moon or some shit, it was like fight night on the streets, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, dude, New York, man, like, it's a cliche, but it really is a cool city to go to. Yeah, cool man. vibe when you're like, there. Like, you just yeah. got to do it. Yeah. It's And it's not even the, it's not even the vibe, like, it's... It's just a cool place. I love yeah. it. Like, it's, just- it's like Athens, man. Like, I hated Athens every time I went back until the last time when I actually stayed in the city at a hotel as mm-hmm. opposed to staying with relos and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I actually let myself, I, I let myself immer- get immersed. Mm. And I said, you know what? Athens is actually really cool. It's a cool experience. But like, I don't know. It depends what you like, man. I don't, I don't know. I like ba- Bangkok, man. No one liked Bangkok. Bangkok I liked it. Bangkok. I like, <laughs> I like, I like Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok was cool, man. Yeah. You know? Athens is a lot like Bangkok, like a bit of old and a bit of new. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. But you have to go to New York. Yeah. If you're going to go to the States, at least go there for a few days just to experience I know, when people it. say to me that they went to Vegas, Miami, and LA, I'm just like, what about New York, man? Like, like it's fine. Go to those places, but, but experience dude, New York like, yeah. first, at least. Like, just go I'll, there. I'll get a car and I'll do the Route 66. <laughs> yeah, we did. You did the whole thing? Yeah. 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Not, the, well, not the whole well, thing. We, of turned, we turned off it because mm. we're heading out to the, the West. But no, yeah. we did take it from Vegas to like Nevada and stuff. And yeah. Everything. Fuck yeah. yeah. In the white Chrysler. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the middle of the desert. <laughs> Chrysler, like, what sort of Chrysler? Just a, one of those hatchback, like, no, four door. Like, a family, like a family, yeah. ha- a family car. Yeah. Mm. But it was like a, like a mix between a hatch and a, stata- uh, a station wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was alright, it was good. It had air conditioning. We needed air conditioning. I wanna, I'll get a Dodge Challenger and I'll just fucking hit the road. Uh, get rolled. <laughs> get rolled at the first survey you pull up to, man. <laughs> Locked his car. We gone, boy. <laughs> uh, nah, wheels, man. <laughs> you need the keys. Let me have a look. Yeah, uh, man. He's got his, like, tourist tourist outfit. You know what I mean? Like the khakis. I love NY. Yeah. <laughs> LA. <laughs> Suitcase. His like camera's hanging off his neck. <laughs> hey, I'm not a treble dork. Don't be like that. I don't know. I'll I reckon if you... I reckon Thailand, you'd be like king of Thailand, but I reckon the States would like just set you on your ass. Really? Thailand, man. It's a bit of a walk Thailand. Oh, Mr. Right, Mr. Jockey. <laughs> hey, Mr. How Johnny. you doing? <laughs> I <didn't> know him. <laughs> At the airport, the VIP service is already there. There's a guy just jumps up and strains his tie. Like, oh, He's Mr. Mate, right. Oh, big man from Australia. <laughs> big man. <laughs> man, be uh, generous. <laughs> telling, telling stories of his life. Just this boss. <laughs> Took out eight people one night. <laughs> Fuck, man. I love it when you walk past the mash salad parlors and they say, I love you. I love you. Come back. I used to get the <laughs> worst. Like, really? That was quick? <laughs> Shit. The worst was when, um... Love it first When sight. I went the first time, dude. You would have fallen in love every in... time. <laughs> dude, back in 2008, I did, man. I did, When I went the first time in 2008, it was the worst because I had, like, full tan, but I had, like, long, long hair, and I probably weighed a bit more as well, like, I was bigger. I just remember walking around, man, in the massage parlor straight away. It's like, handsome man, handsome man, long hair, long hair. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> just leave me alone. Yeah, man. man. They Stop touching me. Vultures, man. Yeah, they still on pull you and shit. You know where it was bad? Like the top of Phuket, like before you get to that other second sort of um, uh, shopping center. Like Bangalore, right? Like past... Yeah, um, so the main shopping center is Jung Salong. Some shit like yeah, that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Right along there, man. Yeah. That looked- 20 strong from each shop front. Like, yeah, man. What the fuck's going on in there, man? As you're walking past, you just see them stand up and start following you. You're yeah. like, oh my God, here we go again. And they like grab a hold of your arm and they don't let you go. Like, I like, know. Like literally, just don't let you go. Like, I'm like, come literally. on, man, just fucking let me go. I want to go. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I've never seen that anywhere else, man. <laughs> Cambodia was a bit like that, but not like, not that yeah. bad. So what, Thailand? I've never been to Thailand. I've only been Can- to Bali <laughs> and stuff, but... Cambodia, we... <laughs> what happened in Cambodia? We went... <laughs> it was me... 
Uh, the boss. Yeah. Um, Who's the boss? Uh, one of my mates, man. Yeah. He's just the boss. <laughs> All right, if me, you, if you, when you meet him, you'll know. You'll know. He's just the boss. It's me, him, <laughs> uh, my ex, and this girl that we met in... Actually, we met her in Cambodia. She ended up coming with us to Thailand. Um, but that's another story. I actually ended up meeting her in um, Amsterdam as well, like two years later, but that's another story. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude, we were walking along and we said to the hotel, we asked the tuk-tuk driver, can you take us to somewhere to get a massage? I go, and we were like, stri- we were like clear as day. No, I go, we don't want any fucking random joints. Okay, we just want to get a proper massage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a good one. You know what I mean? Why would you want just a massage? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> so went by oh, you're with the girlfriend. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah. That's the only reason why. <laughs> Idiot. Dude, we got taken to this place in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'll be back in an hour or whatever. I'll pick you up. Like, yeah, sweet. We go in. They split us up, got, uh, boys and girls, right? We go in. We just, two beds. We're like, okay. You know, Seems like, legit. Strip. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, down to your jocks. Like, yeah, sweet. So we sit down. Start getting worked on. Like, nothing sus. Like, yeah, whatever, right? <laughs> getting worked on. <laughs> you can just hear, you can hear some commotion, like, in the background. But I, I zoned out. I was half asleep. Like, I was fucked. Dude, at some point, the door bursts open, and it's, like, my ex and, and that girl, and, like, we're out of here. Like, what? Like, this place is unprofessional. We are fucking out of here. Are you coming? What? And we were, like, like halfway, like, well, we're sort of halfway between a massage, man. We're going to just get up. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> and she's just about to grab my cock. So. No, 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 no. It was yeah. nothing sus, seriously. Yeah, yeah. And they're, like, man, what do you want me to do? What, what do you want? You, you don't like the service? What do you want me to tell you? Mm. All right, we're out of here. We'll meet you somewhere, blah, blah, blah. And they just bounced, Yeah. Like, okay. And the boys are able to relax. <laughs> we got, yeah, we got into the zone. Time. <laughs> we, we had our massages. We got up to leave. As we're leaving, man, there was just women, like, everywhere. <laughs> like, everywhere. And that's what you call the bonus round. <laughs> like, as we walked down the room, we've just, like, gone down these stairs. And all of a sudden, like, they weren't there before, man. But this time around, there was just women Flock everywhere. You, like, and we're walking out. And we're just looking at each other, like, what the fuck? Where are we? <laughs> It took the guy wasn't there, he disappeared. Yeah, he's not gonna stay around. We eventually walked all the way back <laughs> to like the central bit of like um we're in uh Nom Peng. We're down yeah, we're down south, we're in Nom Peng. We found them at some yeah. cafe restaurant, whatever. And they're like, Oh my god, you stayed the whole time? I'm like, Well yeah, like we're getting a massage, what's the problem? It's like it was a fucking brothel, blah blah blah. I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, We walked in, they told us to strip, didn't even have like a menu, like uh of shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> they were completely unprofessional. It was just like two mattresses on the ground. <laughs> like, that's it. They treated the girls like shit. So they put you guys in a nice room. We were, yeah, we were fine. Kings. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. That's like, kings. I was, I'm, I was just waiting for you to say what they were shocked about. That's bizarre. Like, Dude, that, I didn't get... Um, what? Yeah, I didn't get propositioned or anything. Like, as in... Maybe I did. I was just oblivious yeah. to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, if you're halfway through a mass, you're just out of it. You're yeah, like, I was out of it. I'm like, I don't see anything yeah. wrong with this. There was no funny business. But they were like full... Adamant, like it was a, a knock shop. It sort of made sense because the, the fucking lobby was just lined with women. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's dumped us and just run. Do you know what I mean? That's it, you're something good. Yeah, man. I'm surprised they didn't, like, make you come, like, because they maybe thought you would have got some extra attention. No, nah, like, they came in and said, we're out of here, you're coming. And we're like, well, no, we're in the middle of a massage, why are you leaving? And they've just, like, cracked the shits and just booted. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Man. So were they still shitty at you afterwards? Like, no. No, no, no. So I got a massage. Like, yeah, it's like, well, I don't know what you got, man, but we weren't like that. Mm. So we we had beds. <laughs> You'll take clothes off now. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's it. it. That's it. That's hilarious. Yeah, man. I don't know. You haven't been. You haven't done Thailand. You've done Bali. No, I've done Bali. I've Bali never done same. Thailand. Bali, you get harassed. I don't know because like, I've I've been to Jakarta. I haven't been yeah. to Bali though. But you get harassed because it's such a touristy place, and they do harass you. Like I remember, me and Rem would like walk down the sh- like our street, and there's always like bars and stuff. Yeah, and I'd walk down. I'd be like, Ren, just walk, 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 walk. Because every night, they'd harass you. Oh, hello, big boy. Oh, come yeah, here. Standards. I'm like, fuck it now, man. And Ren would make fun of it. Like, Ren, Ren would be like, gay man. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fire out, man. I'll just walk off. It, it's, it, it doesn't sound as bad as that, though. Yeah, Not nah, as bad as that. Cambodia was pretty warped, man. When I walked back from the club one night, back mm. to the room, this was in Siem Reaps up north. Man, like, some, some dude just stopped me. Like, some old, like, random blind drunk dude just stopped me and he's like eh cocaine I'm like Ugh. what <laughs> cocaine babali I'm like yeah nah man and he's like boy I'm, I'm girl like he was just like rattling off his face yeah. man I'm like yeah nah I'm good Ugh. you get all sorts yeah you get dude awesome. there was a club there was a club in, in Sam Reap and it was literally just a, a hookah bar like you go <laughs> in it was just women like just 
Which is Cambodia still? Yeah. yeah. We were just, just <laughs> floating around looking for, for men, yeah? Me like We you. all went in like... Me like you. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked. We went in because they had pool tables and cheap booze, right? Yeah. And like, I was with my ex and we had another girl, so man, no one really bothered us. But there was two Austrian kids. I th- I'm pretty sure they were Austrian. I've got to find... If I go through my photos, I'll be able to nail it down. But man, <laughs> they were there because their parents were off having dinner or some shit. So they put them in a hooker bar. So they put them in this, some random bar that was just there. <laughs> like, How yeah, old were these kids? Play pool or table tennis or whatever. That, well, that's the thing. One was like 16 and one was, I think, maybe a bit older. Or a bit, so like, these kids would have been like, this is mad. Dude, I'll <laughs> find the photos because now I'm just remembering it now, man. <laughs> They're, and I'm like, How, what are you doing here? And they're like, yeah, our parents are having dinner or Little whatever. Little and fucking... And they, 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 <laughs> women, and Bernard. <laughs> women, women were pouring all over him, man. Like, all over him. Like, it was... They would have been loving it. Oh, they man. That I shook his hand. Like, That's fucked up. <laughs> the Austrian sausage. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling... These... But they looked young. <laughs> One looked especially young. Like a teenager young. Not a child. No, no, no. But like look, teen. They had like a really young, like, yeah. face. And they had like the Austrian, like, German sort of look. Like, just really clean cut. Yeah. And just... Chiseled hair, yeah, 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 very yeah. sterile. Yeah, <laughs> parted hair with the chiseled face. I saw it in um, like long hair that's just like shitty, matty, like dark and greasy. It was fucked up, man. <laughs> Do you know one thing I found funny about Thailand? Like pizza, steak, pasta was like so much better than what you can get here. You reckon? Yeah, man, I reckon. Like, Why? Where well, I was staying, like in Patong, everywhere that I went to get either pizza, steak, or pasta, like. Hang on, wait a second, man. You're one of those guys that went They're to eat, the no, 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 food no, 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 no. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man. You know I love Thai food, man. Yeah, I know, that's I, what I'm I saying. Ate, like, I ate full-on Thai food. Just like, in the once in a while, you just go get something like... Because I was with people that wanted Western okay, food. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, it's the worst. Yeah, yeah, it's the worst, man. It's like, the fucking worst. Yeah. I, can't I love Thai it. food. It's my favorite yeah. thing in the world. Like, Yeah. 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 Love chilies, whatever. But I found the fucking steak and shit was better than I've ever had here before. Um, And the pizza and the pasta. I don't remember eating pizza in Thailand. I remember eating... There was a wood-fired pizza joint, like, literally right across the road from our hotel. It was, like, just, like, a tarp set up. What about to Uh, just a little bit down from the main road, like, Bangla Road, like, maybe... As in down to the... Past, back like, towards the, the airport way. The, oh, so past the Maccas or the other side? Nah, not Maccas, back the other way. To where the resorts are? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, like, maybe... <sighs> Yeah, half, I know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you oh, know. so you were away from Patong. Not maybe, not even. Uh, actually, I'm tripping because we used to walk. Five k is a bit. Because uh, every time half I've, k, I said. Every oh, time I've stayed in Patong, I've been within like yeah walking distance, man. Like uh, five hundred meters walk. is not long. Yeah, five hundred meters probably a bit less, maybe. Yeah, okay. Two fifty, maybe. So you were in the high class area. No, nah, it wasn't the greatest, but <laughs> it was. It did the job. I know yeah. there's a few resorts down that way though. Yeah, like down that side. I know we stayed. I, the last time I'd gone, I'd stayed at a resort somewhere near there. Did you hire motorbikes when you were there? Uh, not Patong. No. I think I hired a... Where did I hire a... Maybe Samui? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, Samui. Oh, no, I've been twice, man. And, like, yeah. the first time was 2008, nine. So, you know, who remembers shit? Yeah, because I was there with um, Bennett and his missus. When was... Ryan, that, Ryan Bennett. Yeah, that was in... Uh, 2012. Okay. And, um, yeah, we just got motorbikes and just she showed us, like, because she's Thai, she's from there. She just yeah. showed us all down the coast, like, all these... Yeah, that's like, what Bennett was saying, too. Hidden beaches like, and shit. That's pretty cool. Dude, you got to go, like, yeah, fight. you got to go about, like, 20 minutes out of, like... Dude, we were just riding through the mountains and there's just, like, like full-on mountain mountainside yeah. and there was, like, just elephants, like, wild elephants. That's cool. It was yeah. fucking awesome, man. It that's was a so good, cool. Look, you know what, man? Thailand is beautiful. Like, there's some really nice-looking scenery and stuff. But it's just all the Hollywood supporters that have just flocked <laughs> fucking Patong. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I swear to God. Speaking of which, when I went to the Australian bar to watch the uh, Collingwood Carlton game, oh. it was just full of Collingwood supporters, yeah. dude. Full. Yeah, I remember the first time like I went, that, man. That guy, that guy. I literally got to Patong and I went looking for a phone box to call my old man or something. You know, we, this is the, back in two thousand eight, and I remember landing and just walking up the strip of Patong, like along the beach, just looking for a phone box. Yeah. And I remember seeing a Collingwood uh, jump on, and I just went, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" <laughs> Already. <laughs> yeah, I've, been, I've literally been there like two minutes, man. Yeah. No, but like, it's like Bali. Like we stayed in Seminyak. We didn't stay in um, what's the other place? Java. I don't know. <laughs> Java. <laughs> Java. <laughs> Dude, Google Java now, and you're gonna be stunned. <laughs> I don't know Bali. I don't know. Java. I but anyway, we stayed in Seminyak. Like, Myanmar, like with the like, <laughs> you were talking about. You're talking about like, dude. I go to the rural area. Do you remember right Rambo? Time. Do you remember the last Rambo that came out? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's like that's Burma Java, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I go when I travel, Jim. I like to just see all the all of it. You, you like to get right in. I like to just get down and dirty with the land. Dude. So is that where you want to go? 
that that is my uh, kind of place. Java, Java, it's just a jungle, man. Sumatra, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and the funniest thing is, is it just looks so white and Aussie. <laughs> There's this one guy in the jungle <laughs> with his face. <laughs> <laughs> Still wearing his hat like a boss, yeah. though. <laughs> but he's wearing just like ratty shorts. Just starts working with the villagers. So that's that's what I'm talking about. Kuda, Kuda, yeah, 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 Kuda. We um we stayed in Seminyak. We spent a day in Kuda. And I said to Ren, get the fuck out of here. Was it Kuda? Was it Kuda and Kuda? <laughs> yeah. Like I couldn't handle it. Every second shop was a tattoo shop. Oh yeah, standards. And just bogans everywhere. And I go, nah. Um, Seminyak's nice. That's pretty cool. And then you got like. Nice villas, you got each street, there was all the restaurants, the beaches right there, but Kuda's not for me. Not for me, really, like, what are you saying, like, with the Collingwood support? Man, it's too it's much, much, man. Yeah. So, is it fair to say Kuda is not Kuda? <laughs> Kuda's. Our Kuda or their Kuda? Our Kuda. It's not our Kuda? No. no. Kuda. Kuda. No. Nah, Kuda. <laughs> man, I couldn't get enough of, like, the um, A4 replays, by the way, the last, like, week. I was just watching oh. random Carlton, like, replays, just random, like, just that era, that 95 yeah. to 2000 oh, have you era. I've watching them on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, cool. Just ran, or, like, Instagram, just been looking for, like, random. Brabbles yeah. from the boundary. Yeah. <laughs> like, just random, random shit, man. Sexton, halfback, taking a grab. <laughs> Da, you know, da, 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 da. Man, Boomer retired officially. Yeah. Oh, did he? You oh, got yeah, a yeah. shit way to go out, man. I know. I thought that 432 was 432 games. Yeah, look, I'm not going to go on. <laughs> yeah. Come to Carlton. We'll take you under our wing. Oh, dude, nah, I he, said, said, he said he doesn't want to play any other colours. He, he said he couldn't He couldn't bear the thought of pulling on another show. fair enough. Even though, even though they fucked me over, I'll still fuck him. Well, yeah. I thought just to, yeah, just to stick it to him for that. Did you see the other big news? Oh, this is going to shake some waters. Shake my water. Ty, Ty Vickery. He's going oh, to Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Yeah. Dude, he's the shittest player in the AFL, man. They obviously have hopes of grooming him into a fucking fine young player. No but... chance. It's going to be what, Chris Yaren? See, Chris Yaren went... Have you heard the news on Chris Yaren? No. The Richmond are hopeful. Hopeful that he returns to play AFL with them. What do you mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> it's... He's yeah. done. They reckon he might be done. Back he's like the, 24. No, because he's got issues. <laughs> Back like on the bongs. Nah. <laughs> he's got... He's, <laughs> <laughs> the bongs. <laughs> he's going back with his brothers. <laughs> he's, they go through his locker at Richmond. Just a bong. Just a Mount Franklin bottle. <laughs> and a lighter. Not even a proper one. One that he made. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. Bit of hose. Dirty from as the fuck. ground crew. <laughs> Hasn't been cleaned in weeks. Just, just hose. <laughs> that they ripped off from Punt Road. <laughs> and a pack of twisties. <laughs> just, one of the sprinklers goes off and just cuts out. Like, what the fuck? Dude, that's such a shame with that guy. He was such a good player. Yeah, he was. He was just a dickhead. Like, so good. Like, so much potential. In May, all right, Hardwick came out and said, <laughs> right, that Chris Aaron will return to the Tigers. Yeah, all right, man. <clears throat> now Vickery's gone. Now Vickery's gone. <laughs> all right. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty much done. Like, uh, yeah. Tigers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You know what? No, you're right. I actually drove past Punt Road today, and but I'm by myself in the van. I look over and I'm like, Psh. actually <laughs> like, said it. Uh, yeah, Sorry, by know. myself. <laughs> no one was there. Yet. <laughs> and you think to yourself, who the fuck am I doing that to? Now fuck him, man. Fucking tigers. Hey, is he Swanee? Swanee. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I, that's I, a surprise. I haven't read it. I just saw like the update on oh, the so yeah. tried drugs. I've tried drugs. Don't lie, Swanee. You're at revolver. If I can Wait, drop a what was the actual quote? I've I've tried drugs and I never got caught. Tried. What do you mean tried? I tried, tried, deal tried, on a point? <laughs> tried it on tried it on several occasions. Yeah. I've tried drugs. I've dabbled. <laughs> I've had a sniff. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, he's come out and said, but, um, I'm not I'm not encouraging to do it and stuff like that, but I never got caught I never got a strike. Okay, good on you, man. Like you Why know? come out and say it now? What's the point we of all this? knew though. What is the fucking point he of this? He needs to sell a book. <laughs> but funny, has he got a book? He, he will, will now. No, 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 I'm being honest. No, he, he will now. Apparently his foot's fucked. Like he will never be the same again. Apparently, yeah, he didn't play after. He no, fucked like, it. That yeah, was no, it. That's it. Yeah. Sorry. Hang on a second. Does he have a book in the works? I'm, I'm being honest. I, I, I don't guarantee. think so. I, because I'll Boomer, it. remember when Boomer came out and started talking about Kerry? The yeah. same week yeah, that yeah, he's yeah, releasing yeah. his book, like yeah. you're a dickhead, <laughs> trying to get publicity. Yeah, yeah. And yeah that's shit. what I'm saying. That's right. That's um, the only reason why I can think Dane Swan. This, this, like he just retired. Like, you know, it's only been a few weeks or whatever. No, nah, yeah. it doesn't say anything about a book in here. It's just today's paper as well. It'll come. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> yeah. Come. Well, it's funny because he's always like, oh, you know, never done drugs. Now, now he comes out and says, yeah, I've done coke and stuff. Man, we already knew. Like, don't... 
come out and try to make a story. You're irrelevant now. You're retired. Go away. Maybe he's out of the limelight and he's just itching for that fucking spotlight Maybe. again. Maybe. It's like, I'll fucking say this shit. Yeah. And now because he's retired, they can't do anything to him. Did he really have the limelight on him that much, though? Like, as in... Swanee was always in the news, though. Look, court appearances. He and- was, like, years ago, but not, not in the last year or two. But, I mean, you'd always be doing something media-wise. Like, even if it's not big, like, you know, he maybe he just misses it. Like, like ex Oh, yeah, fair enough. He doesn't feel like, you know, like, relevant anymore or something. <laughs> it's the, the season just finished. Wait like, a second. Literally a week ago, man. Let me- hey, guys, I tried drugs. It's a- <laughs> <laughs> you just trying you know to get what? back on the front page? <laughs> you are right. Do you hear what else I did? He has got a book. Are you kidding? I'm not even joking. My shady past. <laughs> <laughs> this is quote. Right? This is quote. Quote, oh. quote unquote. <laughs> um, in the book, right, he explained how the culture of going out to parties in the wider community had changed. Back when I started playing AFL footy, you walked into a house party and you saw cocaine or an ecstasy tablet, you would be shocked. Hero 20. Now, if you go into a house party and see cocaine, it doesn't raise an eyebrow. Hang on, man. So what he's saying is, when he started his AFL career, he was shocked when he went to house parties. Then the second half, he'd just get on it. <laughs> is that what how he's saying? Did, how long did Swanee play? He was drafted That's in 2002. What he's, saying. he's saying he was young and naive, he was shocked, now yeah. he's just a Now he's just on it. Yeah, now he's just on it. <laughs> My, just say what year? I think he got drafted 2002 or three. So he's played 15 years. Let me, have, let me have a quick look. 15 years? Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what were house parties like in 2004 or whatever. Yeah, man. Did you still go to parties and see yeah. shit? Didn't really bother you. Yeah. Man, I went. I, I held a New Year's Eve party in two thousand three, going on two thousand four, at an apartment in the city, and um, there was only a few sort of close people. And then someone invited a whole bunch of heads. They rocked up, and they started uh, racking up on the table. And I just I looked up. I'm like, what the fuck? And I, all I said was, finish it, clean it up, and get the fuck out. Okay, because it's my name on the bond, and if they if, yeah. if the cleaning lady comes in tomorrow morning and finds traces of white powder all over the kitchen table, okay, it's my ass. So finish and get the fuck out. And I was as anti drugs as anything, man. You weren't shocked in two thousand four. Nah, nah. It's full of shit. Yeah, no, they, you were so, yeah. you were so much more responsible than me. <laughs> I would have been diving over that table and <laughs> just line me up, boys. Just plunging just his nose face. Dive. Just plunging nose his dive. face into a big pile of yeah, white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, it was like a bag of flour. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm completely fine. Well, it was 2001 draft. Really? He got picked up at pick 58. And how old was he? 17. Yeah, he, well, it could be true. Maybe he wasn't exposed to drugs and he's like, oh, my God. And then he just slowly goes. Because it looked pretty dropped. clean cut. Oh, Before. man, he didn't have a single blemish when he started. Because no, his dad was a big player, too. His dad. Was he? Yeah. yeah, yeah so his idea, dad would have been strict as fuck, like, yeah. keeping him on the straight and narrow. Yeah. And then he got a little taste for the cocaine, started getting some ink, and it was just all Dude, down. the ink. Have you seen, like... Like, Billy Swan, his dad, was, like, a massive player, man. It's really weird. Have you seen the before and after pictures of Swanee? Like, the start yeah, I've got of it right his, here. Yeah, the start of his career, then the end of his Look career, man. clean cut he is there. Yeah, he's just, he's a seat. fucking choir boy, man. Look. Yeah. Right, and then look at him. Yeah. He just looks like a ratty drug dealer. <laughs> he does, man. Yeah. He's fucked. He looks all strung out and shit. Yeah, well, I re- man, I re- <laughs> seriously, I reckon he retired so he can get on it. Well, he could. He can. Yeah. He's just like, finally, my foot, I can just fucking... Do <laughs> yeah, I've got an excuse to quit. <laughs> you just yes. keep pulling him up Break the his own foot. <laughs> <laughs> you just get on it. up the train and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. Man, big a lot of big retire re, uh, retires um yeah. retirees this year, man. Mm. I was saying it like a couple of weeks ago. Pavlich, man. Pavlich, Enright. Yeah. Um, what's his Harvey. name? Cooney. Oh yeah, Cooney. <laughs> what happened to that guy? Army. The forgotten champion. No, no, Cooney. Cooney. No, no. Did you say Army? No, no, no. He said Cooney. Oh, Cooney. Cooney. Yeah, Cooney. You know what? Pavlich. I love Pavlich. I've yeah. always have. Oh, you fucking, know what? I, I could never say a, a bad thing about that guy, man. Me either. I've, I've always liked him, and I yeah. just wish he had won a fucking premiership. Yeah, Pav- who else is retired? Some he should have. Names. You know what he should have done? His last contract that he signed with Freeman was like three years. He should have actually gone to Adelaide. I reckon they would have won with Dangerfield and Sloan and all that there. Oh, with Walker. Yeah, I reckon they would have got close. Topped it off nicely. Yeah, I reckon they would have got close. Yeah, and then they got Betts because Betts has been there almost three years now. Yeah. yeah. So I reckon they would have gone close. Pav should have gone because he's from Adelaide originally. He should have gone back home. Fuck yeah, that would have just topped his career. Yeah, up, career yeah. up and nicely. I reckon he would have won a premiership with that team. Because, you know... Yeah, but he would have played his entire career at Freo, then just gone over for his last year at yeah. Adelaide and won a flag. Had a stint. You know? How would you feel? It's, it's like Brian Lake, man. No, no, no. Like- <laughs> Brian, yeah, Lake. Brian Lake. <laughs> Hang on. How would you feel, honestly? Like, think about it, yeah? How would you feel playing for one club for, like, 20 years, mm. 
And then your last season, you're like, fuck this. You go to, like, a flag favourite team and you win a flag and then you retire. Well, that's the thing. Like, these and, players... And mind you... It wouldn't be as sweet. Switching, switching like, it's cities as well. <laughs> It'd be a little bit sweet, but it wouldn't be super nah. sweet. Well, for him, it would be going back home, though. Yeah. That's that, going back home. Yeah, it's not like going to Brizzy. That yeah, makes it a little spent, sweeter. Flag. But he spent, <laughs> he spent 20 years playing in another city. How many seasons did Pavlich play? Something like... Uh, 12. Not more than that. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'll, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. but like, I just I think know, probably I, I'm going to say 14 or 15 seasons. Yeah, it's like say that, it's yeah. like Boomer, right? Like how he said I couldn't possibly pull the jumper on, at another club. I get that because he spent like you know two decades playing at North Melbourne. Yeah, it's just it would feel a bit weird. It feel fucking it would a little bit. strange. Yeah, shit. <laughs> no shit. What? 16, dude. He got drafted in 99. Yeah. 17 seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I knew it was nearly 20. Uh-huh. Well, he played 353 games. Yeah, I knew it was more and he than 700 more than goals. Yeah. Dude, like he played his first game in 2000. I don't know. Like, for me, man, I, I couldn't do it. Unless I was treated really wrongly. You know what I mean? It was like, ah, oh, go fuck yourselves. I'm out. Yeah, but. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't. But he's given all. Like, with, in Pavlidge's case, he gave all to that club, man. He gave oh, everything, know. and they still couldn't get over the line. He oh, went through some really shit years with that club. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it feels... I don't know. If it was me, man, and I was playing at, say, Frio for, you know, 70 yeah. years, couldn't just leave and come back to Melbourne and play... Maybe, maybe going to his hometown would sweeten it up a little bit, but it would still feel going back weird. home. Yeah. Like, if you were from Melbourne, right, and you played all your career at, say, North... Yeah, but the like fans Harvey. don't give a shit. No. Fans wouldn't care. No. And it's like, it's like Johnny <laughs> going to Brizzy for the last year and winning a flag or whatever, or going to, like, Perth and... Because it's away from his it's hometown. Like, you know what it's like? It's like Stevie J, Yeah. Mm. He, they like Geelong said to him, "We don't have a place for you." So he's like, "All right, well, I'm going to go somewhere where they have a yeah. place for me." It's not like he just left and said, "Fuck you, Geelong." I'm going somewhere no. where I can win a flag. No, that's why he was accepted mm. at GWS. What Plus, they s- offered him a coaching role too. <laughs> yeah, but how would you feel if you were Stevie J, and he turned his back on the Cats and said, "Fuck you, I'm going to GWS mm. for my last season," and to win a flag? How would you feel? Well, a lot of fans would be like, "Well, he gave us how many years of service." I don't know. I'd feel strange. It man. wouldn't be a sweet. Like you know what? You know who's being a dog cloak. Have you heard about what oh, he's what's doing? What's he doing now? Do you know he didn't even go to the best and fairest? He goes see you later. Are you serious? Yeah, man. I didn't know that. And then people are saying, well, that's how much he respects his teammates. Like he might have issues with Buckley or whatever. But what now? He's the cloak is shit. Like, that's why the old cloak and dagger. That's why <laughs> he really got... is terrible. Yeah. And then what? He he goes. I want to go to the doggies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good luck getting into that team, buddy. You like, you be you be you be uh... like he's so good he can just choose where he wants to go. Yeah. yeah. Right, no, he's yeah. fucking shit. He's yeah. done. He's yeah. so done. Yeah. Fuck off, cloak. Yeah. The cloak Pink. and dagger. Fuck off. He didn't you. even rock up to the BNF. I didn't no. know that. That's he that's... actually did not even rock. Like, he's a Collingwood player still. He's not actually. Hang on, wait. Did what's his name rock up to our our BNF last year? Which one? Um, Bootsma. No, no, no. <laughs> Henderson. Henderson. He Fuck Henderson. He, he was gone round seventeen. He would have rocked <laughs> up. Johnny's face. Yeah, did Yaron rock up to the BNF last year? No, they didn't. No, but they were. Were they already gone? They're already gone. Cloak <laughs> still is not gone. Yeah, they're just trying to find a place for yeah. him. And he's got come out and said, "Oh, I want to go to the doggies, mate. You're not going to get a game for the doggies. <laughs> just goes for the team that won the last premier. Yeah. <laughs> I can guarantee you, he will play. Maybe you know what? He'll do a Jordan Russell. He went. He'll go to. He'll, he'll go to the team, right? Jordan Russell played like three games at the start of the year and got dropped indefinitely. All right, that's what's going to happen. Jordan Russell. Jordan. Hey, you know he, he's he the was... captain. But you know he's the captain of the VFL Footscray team. Oh, I won the grand final. No, I didn't know that. But... Yeah, yeah, man. He's like a he leader. Play at the elite level. No, he not was now, terrible. Man. He remember all the like he's, he you know what, out in the full, like out of fullback, like so many times. There's one game the that full. we went to. There's one game <laughs> we went to, and Russell from the fifty man got the goal. I think it was against St Kilda on the Monday night. We lost it. It was like 2010 or some yeah. shit. Man. All he did was make mistakes. That's all he did was make mistakes. He had no one else. <laughs> Fucking North, uh, Phil North, man, at work. You remember the guy just retired. He, he left. Got this. Uh, he just got given a payout at our work. Yeah, Phil North. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a cool name. Yeah. Oh, Southie, Southie. Southie, yeah. Wait, Southie. Wait, what? Yeah, we yeah, call him Southie. Yeah. Dude, he, uh, he, he drove around, honestly, man, for the last five years. Every time he'd see me, he'd just go, Jay Russell, three votes. Yeah. <laughs> he used to do the same Dude. to say Daisy. Dude, it was, I think it was, uh, it was during the, <laughs> the nap puff, the first year after uh, Russell left. Yeah. I think it was the first year after Russell left. 
in the nap <laughs> man at Collingwood. And he's like, man, Ross is going to be playing the game of his life. <laughs> it's like the second round of the nap. <laughs> He's just gonna be he, all did good, he did good for the first two games. Yeah. And then they just dropped him. <laughs> They're like, you're not, you're not coming back. He shit, you're not man. coming back. Yeah, he's shit. He's shit. He's shit. <laughs> Straight up. He's a good VFL player. Yeah. Like, that's what he is. Like, he's actually, he's the captain. Shines in the VFL, just fucking can't cut it at the AFL level. <laughs> yeah, you just can't get over the line <laughs> with nah. the good, the big leagues, you know? You know who he reminds me of that can't get a game at AFL level for us? Nick Graham. Who? Oh, Graham. Nick Graham. Oh, great, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. great VFL player. Yeah. He does all right in the AFL. He's just not physical He does, enough. doesn't do enough. No. He doesn't do enough. No. 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 <laughs> but anyway, Sw- Swanee's a cokehead. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. <laughs> 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 oh, what do I want to say to um, I, I had so much interesting stuff to say, but now I've drunk beers. I've forgotten it. Fuck. Drunk beers? You've had, like, one beer. <laughs> you drunk beers. I drank and beers. I drank some beers. You drank beers. You guys watch Bathurst? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Bathurst. <laughs> all, I, all I want to know is the results so I can give my Ford mate shit. All right. Let's have a look. Let me have a look? Yep. All right. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm so horrible with sports. I just, like, just want, like, people to lose so I can just, like, give people shit. Like, I'm so Love. horrible Oh, like really? That. That's funny. I'm terrible. Because I, I, I remember when you lost last week at a, a, a game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even go down this no, road. No, it had to be brought up. I'm sorry. For those that aren't following on uh, on Facey and all that sort of stuff, we had a FIFA night back in, what was it, Tuesday? Yeah, and it was Tuesday. Johnny, yeah, Tuesday. Johnny Boy dominated FIFA hang night. On, hang on, hang on. I'm not going to, I'm not going to bullshit. Yeah, you did dominate. All right. Considering I the last game, the last FIFA I'd played was FIFA 99. Literally, FIFA 99 was the last FIFA I had, okay? And if anyone wants to listen to St. Nick on episode 22 telling me how he's going to flog me, just just wipe the floor with me, go back and have a listen. Yeah, all right. What I remember is I had a 17-year hiatus off the FIFA grounds, came back in, and uh, after hours of getting pants, <laughs> dealt Johnny's first loss. All right. <laughs> We haven't actually spoke about this properly, because that, that day... He's we, still ruling over it! He's still stewing Wait, can I just say something as well? Just wait. That day we, <laughs> that day where you sabotaged me... We didn't sabotage shit. Sabotage? Uh, after, that. That game, after that game that I lost, I had got a really bad headache. Because <laughs> I just felt betrayed. So Dude. we didn't get to talk about it properly, but legitimately, my settings were changed. That's Fuck why. Off. That's why. How, I, how did your settings just change all that? You were setting. Okay. This is an excuse my sister would use. What about, what about what about when you lost to me? Was your settings changed just, then? Just listen. My <laughs> sister, my sister would use this excuse. Okay. This is like bullshit. Seven. Yeah, I swear. Can you just listen to what I'm saying? <laughs> my controller's not plugged in. <laughs> you, <laughs> see, you guys, wireless. You guys know that you sabotage. That's why you just hide. I didn't sabotage this. shit, man. Right, listen. Playing. Listen. Every game that I played, I got maybe like one or two yellow cards, maybe at the max. The game that I lost to you in, I had like two red cards, Three. five yellow cards. And then I was like, what the fuck? Like, why do I keep slide tackling when I'm supposed to be normal tackling? Because you were rattled. So I went, <laughs> so I went into the settings. It got in your head it wasn't That in, first goal just rattled you. I went into settings. It was, it I'm was, pretty sure I was up like 2-1, man. Any <laughs> <laughs> vapes? I need a vape. These guys are, just vapes. But I went into the settings. It had been moved from classic no, to. I'm pretty sure you went in and you shuffled it around, and then you said that it's been. No, moved. because why would I go in there? And then I realised that my slide tackle. Because was- you had five minutes to go, and you need to come up with an excuse as to why you were losing. Don't even lie to me. <sighs> I've seen these sneaky okay, tactics. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, you've had the excuse about losing to Dimmy. What about losing to me? <laughs> <laughs> no red cards. No dodgy controller. Yeah, but I played you after Dim, and I had a headache. I was. Bet- <laughs> I was, I was betrayed. I was down. I wasn't. My spirits went up. Listen, man. <laughs> you had won forty-seven games in a row. <laughs> give us a, give me a spell. For <laughs> hours, man. man. You know what it's like getting pants every, every game. Yeah, but still, I don't like to lose once because that just shows a fl- chink in my armor. And I yeah, just don't I like, actually I just, asked. I asked like. Lexi. Asked his brother. Okay. What's Johnny like playing video games, eh? He's like, oh. He's <laughs> 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 like, oh, forget it, man. When did you ask him that? Uh, like yesterday or the day before. Yeah, we had some Barney's growing up, too. Yeah. Is he bad? He's like, oh, yeah, man. Dude. I, used to, I used to bash him. Dude, his first words are, oh, dude. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I used to literally bash him. Like, bash him. Because if you lost. Me. If I lost. <laughs> you need to go see some counselling. Yeah, oh, yeah. dude, I was, dude, I was horrible. Angry man, seriously. That's, that's, 
I was, I was horrible. And not just... The, I'm better he now. He lost like three in a row. <laughs> like two in a row or three in a row. No, no, it was two. He did lose two. He lost two. Two. It was just that he lost to me. All right, and so lost you to almost you. had him at the end. You that last one. You almost had him. Yeah, so you lost... Yeah, out of a hundred plus games, I lost two, two games. Plus. That's the you moral beat of the him. story. I beat him. Then, then I beat then, him. Then I played you, uh, and he sat on the couch uh, in his darkness, <laughs> just that's just, right, watching, <laughs> hoping, hoping we would butcher each, <laughs> hoping we would butcher each ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> just silent. Man. I got up with a dodgy goal. Yeah, that was a dodgy then goal. You, you, yeah, and then I beat him, and then you beat him. Yeah, and then he wanted one. a rematch because he couldn't handle and, it. And I said he's not leaving until he gets his rematch and can beat us both before he leaves and goes home. And as soon, when you got in the car, you got so happy. He had the big yeah. smile. <laughs> <laughs> cheap, cheap, <laughs> the cheapness. Why am I like that? Why am I so co- disgustingly competitive like I don't that? Know, it's better than being a pushover. Well, the, like, seriously, I am disgusting. I made myself sick. <laughs> okay, hang on. Like, I was ge- le- legitimately sad when you beat me. <laughs> I know you were. I could see you. I've never seen you that broken. You were on the kept sulking. Yeah, I don't. I've, I've seen you at Carlton games where Carlton's gotten smashed and you've just been like down, you yeah. know, because uh, or like angry because like oh, what a shit game, whatever, blah blah. But I've never seen you the way I saw you. No, nah, it's worse if I'm doing it. Okay, is that with <clears> everything? Is it not just video games? Is that like if me and you played, you know, indoor soccer or something? Would you be the same? Like if we challenged each other? No, if we were playing indoor against a team and we lost. If you were my team, oh, like say tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow pretty, night I'm playing soccer. I'd be pretty shitty. Would you be the same? Yeah, probably. Would you blame anyone else, or would you just blame yourself? Blame myself. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, no, I'm, 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 I'm honestly asking. No, I don't know why I'm like that, man. Like so competitive like that. I hate From, it. From like the way you grew up. I, I'm, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, let's let's get to the bottom of it. Let's let's. No, no, I'm serious. I don't, I don't know, dude. Like, I grew up playing video games, like obviously as well. Yeah, and I mostly would play with. My neighbour next door or the kid across the road? Yeah, and my sister, obviously, like, you know, if she was around and we were playing something we all wanted to play. I don't remember being that competitive. Mm. Is it because you played actual sport? Like, as a kid. So that competitiveness, not video games, say, as as an activity, like on a weekend or whatever. Yeah, I always played sport, but uh, I, I don't know if that's why. Like, Did your old man, how we like, who, who took you to the sports? Like, your old man? Yeah. Did he hammer you? Like, no, 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 not at all. He was always just like, have fun, like, whatever. See, that's the thing. Like, my old man, like, man, I, I blew out my knee playing basketball because the old man came down to watch or whatever. And he was just having to go. Like, I was lethargic, like, as fuck. <laughs> and we just weren't, <laughs> we weren't winning. Like, Trying I mean, to impress puffs. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> that's the thing. He came down and he cracked the shits at half time, like, just hammering into us, something about effort or some shit. I don't know what it was. Oh. And I just cracked it. When yeah, I the team s- pep talk, I cracked it. <laughs> I cracked it and just started diving for every loose ball. And I just remember my knee coming down that hard floor, like, you know, at the Oakley Rec. Just my, my left knee, man. Like, I was diving for every little loose ball I could get. Just kept coming down on the knee. Boom, boom, boom. And that's <laughs> how I did it. Just proud, Dad. Dude, yeah, seriously. I'm, I'm not even Such joking. Daddy. I'm not even joking, man. Dad. He walks, he walks out, his legs are dragging because he's broken I, both I, legs. I, dude, I st- after that, my knee started clicking and shit in the morning, like, just pain. <laughs> so that's when it sort of start, stopped. Yeah, no, nah, my dad never had me. I don't know why, man. I don't know why. It's just because you, like, because you got a brother that's, like, near your age or... Maybe you're just a sook. Maybe I'm just a sook. <laughs> Maybe, I'm just, <laughs> Maybe I'm just a disgusting individual. I was going to say, you and your brother aren't that close, man. So for you to be at, like, video game age and belting the shit out of him, it would have been, like, a lot smaller than you, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked. I'm completely fucked. I don't know why. Even, like, like 18, 19, when we're, like, in the, like smoking bongs, playing Call of Duty, like, if I lost, I'd fucking crack the shits, dude. Like, really? Yeah. Man. But I'm better these days. What you, oh, now it's just that silent hate. <laughs> this is, no, I was, I was fine when I You drive that. off. The you cut went break, fine. Who cut your brake line? <laughs> just, he's like, boys, I'm just going to go outside for 10 minutes. <laughs> he's going to get something from my car. I be, like, we all leave and like I get home. Like I take a little while because I'm going to put fuel in. I get home, all my lights are switched off. Like There's no power in the house. Like, what the fuck? I found a fucking fact after last week's, uh, the last episode yeah. we did, man. You know, you named um, that band of the, what were they? Um, hang on. Test me oh. with the facts. I reckon I'll get it. Facts. Because I'm really smart. No, man. It's just, I'm just saying. The Planet Shakers. Oh, the. Remember that band? Band. Dude, I actually looked them up. I wanted to see like, who the fuck they were. Full rock band. Yeah. Nah. It's reported that in 2008, the Michael Googly, Googly Mucci. Yeah. Former bass player in the Planet Shakers band had fraudulently claimed he was dying of cancer. <laughs> During this time, he received money from supporters who believed his illness was real. <laughs> that, that's, Dude, that's the lowest. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He wrote the Healer song for the album Savior of the World and was released in June 2006. Healer is, Healer is a song of encouragement for believers who are suffering from cancer. Yeah? 
<laughs> do you know what his actions? Do you know, he explained his actions? Yeah. Do you know what he blamed it on? <laughs> Take a guess. All right. Take a fucking guess. Wait, what he blamed it on? He blamed his actions. Depression. Right, on a long term issue. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So he claimed he had cancer. He claimed he was dying. But of he cancer. really had. All right. He claimed he was dying of cancer yeah. in order to get people behind him for this fucking album uh, for this song. This song yeah. yeah. What do you reckon he blamed his actions on? Depression. A nah. a extremely painful right testicle. <laughs> you're not. But you're not far off. <laughs> oh, dude. He explained his actions as being a result of a long-term pornography addiction. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, right. so, because you've got a pornography addiction, I'm going to say that I've got cancer and get money. <laughs> How does that even make any sense? Dude, <laughs> that makes no fucking sense at all. I couldn't stop laughing, I swear. Oh, and on top of that, he's meant to be a good church boy. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't stop laughing. Welcome to Planet Shakers. He <laughs> <laughs> <It> blames... <laughs> He Welcome claims to he has cancer. Filthy scumbags are us Because he's addicted to porn. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's that like is the worst comparison ever. Dude, this makes no sense. Didn't he even try. He could have come up with, okay, I've got like a mental illness or something like that. Like no. a re- really addictive personality. I've Dude, got, like, he's addicted to porn, so he faked an illness. <laughs> Do you, reckon he, ah! do you reckon he came up with it while looking at you, Jizz? <laughs> he's just sitting there, like, batting off, and he's like, Dude. you know what I should do? <laughs> it, was, it was the fucking worst, man. That is so sad. That is so fucking sad. <laughs> society, man. That's society. That, and every time, you know, every time I drive past, I'm like, cold. <laughs> Dude, oh, did you see the Budgie 9, whatever they yeah. were called? Yeah. Fucking ridiculous, man. Seriously. How was, that, how was the, that even a thing? It was a thing. They were, they were in speedos. Yeah, but no, if you're in a different on. country... They're in Malaysia, man. which is a fundamental... Oh, are you guys saying it was wrong with them? Hang on. Yeah. They're in a fundamentalist country where uh, uh, bathing suits are compared like to underwear. Plus, they've got the fucking flag on the on the bathing suit. Does it make sense? No. Nah. Okay, dude, we're, they're not in Australia. It's fucking skin. Dude, welcome, yeah, but you're in a different country, Welcome to country, Malaysia, though, man. man. Welcome to Malaysia. It's a fundamentalist Muslim country. See how it is. They got off scot-free, right? They got off. Yeah. Because they believed... Um, Oh, they'd serve penance, you know, four days in a slammer or whatever, la, 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 la. And they let him, yeah, let him go. <laughs> Dude, it's like you, right, mm. go on to Thailand, mm. all right, Bangkok, going to a police station and ripping a bong right in front of the cop station. Mm. It's not quite that bad. No, yeah, no, actually, it, it is. is. It is. For them, it is, man. Dude, in India... Dude, you're going to the Bangkok man, Hilton, my remember, friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember... Malaysia when... needs to get with the times, in my opinion, boys. Dude, Richard Gere, man, he kissed, um... He, like on the cheek, he kissed his Indian co-star at like a, an award show. Yeah. This is years ago. If you look it up, you Who, you'll Gerbil Boy? Gerbil Boy? B- Buddhist Ger- Gerbil Boy. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he, he kissed his <laughs> co-star. Gerbil story? <laughs> Richard Gere? Gerbils. <laughs> Richard Gere. <laughs> Gerbils. Richard Gere is... According to the media, Richard Gere is one seedy motherfucker. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, but why? Probably because so, he's a peace-loving Buddhist. <laughs> Gerbil boy. <laughs> Should I have a gerbil up his ass? Do I have to look this up? You know how they insert the tube into the <laughs> anus? Do I, have to, I have to look this up? Hey, I, I think what, you must. What is the fascination with that gerbil shit? I don't like, know. Why it's would anyone ever. want to stretch your asshole open and let a gerbil go in there and tickle around? Gerbil Richard Gear. <laughs> what is, is, this, is this for real? Yeah, man. And Hugh Grant had one as well where he was See, like... Richard Gear and the gerbil. It's an urban legend. <laughs> it's an urban legend. Yeah, but... It's not. It's not. <laughs> Okay, go to Snopes. They know everything. Snopes. And um, <laughs> I love it. It's just a photo of a gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Grant was it's caught. It's false. Hugh Grant was caught in a urinal with a, a hooker as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, no, it, wasn't caught in a, it wasn't caught in a urinal. It was caught in his car, like getting head off. Um, oh. and, some, and that was something divine. Yeah. I think, I think or divine was, brown or something. Divine brown. That's yeah, it. there you go. I was mixing it up with my George Michael joke. That's how I got confused. George Michael got busted jacking off in yeah. a public, public toilet. White and runs down the public toilet wall. Yeah. George Michael's <laughs> latest release. <laughs> yeah. As I got confused. George Michael hasn't been relevant for a while. George, George Michael? Yeah. <laughs> George Michael. What's George Michael doing right now? Let me have a look. George- <laughs> Getting gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> nah, George Michael was, um, I was touring. He wasn't really? part of one of those X Factor shows. Really? Yeah, he's, he's still around, though. Yeah, man. He's fucked himself up, but no, he's still around. He's gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that smile. He's gone. <laughs> oh, that- back in the Wham days? Yeah, man. Dude, he was everyone's favourite pin-up back in the 80s, yeah. man. Every guy wanted to be him and every woman wanted to be with him. And then he went... <laughs> I'm serious, man. 
All the, like, man, all, especially all the Greeks and Italians, man, in Melbourne. Yorgos? Fuck. Kiriakos? Yeah. Pana Yutu. Pana, yeah, Pana something. Pana I knew it was Pana something. Yeah. Yeah, isn't he Cypriot? Cypriot. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, what's that? Peter Andre's Cypriot as well. I'm pretty sure. Peter Andre. <laughs> Peter Andre? What the? <laughs> wait, let me look that kind of. <laughs> Peter Andre, man. <laughs> oh. You know the rumor about that? He blew Molly Meldrum to try and get a record deal. Oh. Nah, dude, I... That's the producers I worked yeah. with trying to get a music video off the ground a couple of years ago. They they were his producers. It was just this pretty boy kid from Peter Melbourne. Andre. Yeah. What was the song? The Waterfall or something? Waterfalls. Mysterious Girl. Oh, Mysterious Girl. What's wrong he, with he you? Was Waterfalls. Dancing, he was dancing under the waterfall. Yeah. That's why. They yeah. filmed that in Thailand. They actually filmed that clip in Thailand. Dead set. He was actually born in England. Who? Peter Andre. Mm. How did that go? It was like, Mysterious Girl. <laughs> I want to get close to you. Some it's shit. City, Greek. Mysterious girl, man. Mysterious girl, I want to get close to you. <laughs> I want to get close to you. Yeah, man. He had the best washboard abs. That's all he had, though. S- similar to mine. He didn't train legs. That's why <laughs> he always wore baggy jeans. I wouldn't jeans. say they're good as yours. He always, you know wore, je- he always wore baggy-ass jeans, yeah. man. I wouldn't, say that, standard, like, I wouldn't say they're as good as yours. They're probably actually not. Yeah. Because he had to, like, get the lights and the oil to, like... No, no, but see, the thing is, though, like, he had to work towards that. You have not like, naturally. You, you, <laughs> you're just a specimen, you know? <laughs> True. Dude, mysterious girl. I want to get close to you. Are you serious? Did he do okay. anything after this song? So, he, for this whole film clip, he was dancing under the waterfall. Yeah. Uh. He was pretty cute, wasn't he? <laughs> Dude, every girl wanted him, man. He had that long fringe middle part coming down. Yeah, man. Yeah, I used to have that. <laughs> he wore it better. He, he wore it better than me. He wore it better. Unfortunately. My abs are still better, though. <laughs> Can anyone name another Peter Andre song? No. No. I, I don't know. Do you want to look at his discography? <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know a, a single song. I just don't understand what how the? this works. He's like Greek, but he's singing like a reggae-ish yeah. sort of track. Bizarre, dude. I put it down to his abs. Like, like he's a good-looking kid. There you see is. the baggy jeans? Just oiled up. Yeah. <laughs> I think I sing it better than him as well. Can you tell me for the top of your head how many albums he's released? You will die. Like, you will die. I got no idea. Don't tell me it was like 10. Come on. How many do you reckon? Give me a number. All right. If I had to guess, I'd yeah. say three. Yeah. Maximum. He was Maximum early 90s. Three. He was early mid 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Flash in the pan. I'm going to change my thing <laughs> 20, to two. 20 years. So for someone that only had one song? Two uh, albums. Two? Albums. Oh, Four. Oh, oh, oh. This Mysterious motherfucker <laughs> has released 12 albums. When the fuck did he make 12 albums? Dude? And then we go back and listen and it's just a masterpiece. Just like fucking like... Just, 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 93, 96, 97. <laughs> <laughs> Drums for Pink Phil Collins, you know? Like, yeah, just, just trying music- to get on his album. Just a musical genius. He's got an album in 2010, Unconditional Love Songs. <laughs> Are they just covers? They'd be covers. For sure they'd be covers. Dude, he's got like... If he became one of those artists that's just as covers... Nah, man. Like, she's got... He's got... She's got... She's... He's, he's like... You know your career's over, right? <laughs> you know it's just done. They've buried you. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> when in 2015, he actually... Peter Andre White Christmas. You know it's oh. over. You know it's over. It's over. Peter. Do you know what I can't stand, man? <laughs> I can't stand Pete. forced Christmas albums every uh. year. Delta Goodrum does them. Anthony Kalia does them. Yeah. Fucking, uh... What's her name? Ashanti does them. Oh, jeez. Mariah will drop a Christmas album. Michael mm. Bublé. The same Christmas songs every uh, fucking year, man. Uh, but kill me. Seriously, just kill me now. Peter Andre, 12 albums. How the fuck did Peter Andre make 12 albums? He sucked a lot of dick. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. molly every week. Yeah, just, <laughs> dude, I can't fucking stand when they make new Christmas songs for these fucking albums. Yeah. They're so weak. But do you know what I feel like, man? All these Christmas albums are going to be on one of those infomercials at like 2 a.m. in the middle of April. <laughs> just trying to sell Christmas albums cheap. Mm-hmm. Have you heard one of those? You know those infomercials, man? I was listening to one today at work, yeah? Have you heard the voice, like, actually paid attention to that voice? Mm-hmm. Man. It's fucking retarded. I was half asleep <laughs> this morning, man. I was sitting there at like 10 to 6 just <laughs> trying to drink this fucking coffee. <laughs> Dude, I was listening to the voiceover. 
And it was so exaggerated oh, on certain yeah. on certain words. <laughs> yeah, but it was like <laughs> it was like you know <laughs> it was. I swear to God, it was like <laughs> not one, not two, but three. It was yeah. Like, yeah. Get it all for fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Like, it was so. F- but just, wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. <laughs> It's like, the cheesiest of cheese sale. Oh, We're in a pack of steak knives. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Dude, the scariest thing is it works. It fucking works. Uh, what did you obviously. buy? What did you buy? No, no, not me. Yeah, bullshit, yeah, but not me. I can see you sitting there at two o'clock in your jocks no. eating donuts. No. <laughs> you know what you bought? Nineties <laughs> rock ballads. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> but the collection, the seventies, eighties, nineties, sixties, seventies, eighties, and nineties. And Johnny's like, I gotta get in on that. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> He's picking, picking I, cheeses off the ground. <laughs> half asleep. <laughs> he just rings it up. I'd like to order it. <laughs> Two sets. <laughs> Not I, one. <laughs> I haven't bought shit, but my housemate has those stone dine pans. Oh, this shit. Stone dine, right? It's like meant to be like stones. Yeah, like, the ones where they, they burn the egg straight through and then they mm. wash it off. Dude, that is just straight up a fucking scam. Is it? Just a fucking I heard that was like terrible. They like, are, I made them I, one and bought them I'm once. telling you firsthand, they are fucking terrible. Why? For the first two, like they were okay, just like any normal pan. And now, like when I cook anything in it, it just sticks like straight away. Like wor- <laughs> the worst stick ever. Really? Yeah, like the worst. I know that like a mate of mine had put it up on um, Facey or something. So he bought a set. Yeah, you know, he found them cheap, and then they were just shit. Because even the paint they put on it, it makes it look like it's stone, like you're actually cooking on a slab of stone. But yeah, no, it's oh. just a paint. It just comes off. Into your food. Into your fucking food. Yeah. Dude, the biggest scam ever. I was Dude, my so, mum used to oh. say that about like that sort of shit as well. Do you know what the <sighs> best frying skillet thing ever is that I've, I've bought? I bought it at Big W, man, for like eight bucks. <laughs> this guy bought it. I'm actually, the point. me and my girlfriend have actually... Said we're gonna go buy like a bunch of expensive pans. I've always wanted them, and I'm gonna oh, fucking yeah, get man. some. I want to get mom, a good wok as well. My mum gave me like two or three of them, man. When I moved out, like you know, T-fowl or some shit. Even better, even dude. better, dude. They like, last I got, forever. I got Jamie Oliver T-fowl ones, and they were good for so long. But now they're starting to be shit. I want mm. ones that are gonna last dude, me forever. I'm telling you, I bought like an eight dollar frying pan from Big W. I use it for everything. Dude, still, still good. Like, dude, yeah, it's the best. Like he has got some good shit cheap, and it lasts. I haven't bought any, like, utensils from man, Ikea. Get involved, man. <laughs> Kmart, man. I like Ikea. I like going to a day at Ikea. Yeah. I can't do it. Really? I Man, I went when I first... Because a lot of my stuff is from, like, uh, Ikea. Yeah, other so than my cats I and... have the same coffee table as you. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> so cute. And, Joe, do you have the same TV cabinet with the fucking slide-out? Yeah. No, no, no. It doesn't have slide-outs. No, no, no. Oh, okay. But they're, they're all the same. You can customise them all, like, to whatever you want. It's, it's They are white, man. They look good, though. Yeah. Ikea's a scam. <laughs> I go to Ikea and after an hour or so I just get fucking headaches man it's like shopping centres too I get disorientated just I always need to piss <laughs> <laughs> you're that guy always always that guy can we hurry it up I gotta find a bathroom he goes and takes a piss in one of the displays <laughs> you know the toilet they set up and stuff? You can't... there's no plumbing you did didn't you nah, didn't there's you. no plumbing there's no plumbing nah. in it Nah, man. And it says do not use this toilet. The best part of our keys, the the hot dogs, like the two dollar hot dogs, whatever they are. Get involved, the food. Man. Oh, the fucking Wiener schnitzels. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. The, it's not <laughs> horse meat. <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> it's all Swedish food, like the yeah, Wiener but, schnitzels. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even real meat, is it? Mm. Nah, it would be. They had a big thing IKEA. Um, donkey, donkey meat. Some, they had a big thing about it. It's donkey, donkey, donkey meat. There's still marks on it from where the jockey hit it. <laughs> <laughs> the hot dog. <laughs> he stamped. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. What, what do you mean? What meat is it? Google it. No, seriously. That that's fuck off. <laughs> what is in IKEA meat? That is the I best just, thing about IKEA. I just thought of something as well before when we we're talking about music, and I thought about it, and I forgot about it. Okay, before you forget no, again. you've got it. <laughs> before you forget again. Sting's new song, dude. I fucking love it. How good is it? It's really fucking sick. It's catchy. It's really catchy. Sting. Sting, dude. <laughs> Sting. Did you get his latest single. Hey, from Barcelona. <laughs> Sting. 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 <laughs> Sting and... Do you remember the police? <laughs> yeah, the police. <laughs> the cops. I've been laughing about that for two weeks, man. The cops. Have you listened to the cops yet? No. Oh, best band ever. Send me a song. Right. I'll, I'll just YouTube cops. a clip. Right. Yeah. See, look. Um, it says here. Sorry, it wasn't the hot dog, so you're safe. <laughs> but it says horse I always meat. Meat- I always got the meatballs. Horse meat has been detected in IKEA meatballs. Labelled as beef and pork. 
and imported to the Czech Republic. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what? What's wrong with horse meat? I was just going to say, in, the- in Montreal, it's like fucking, like, like the delicacy. Yeah, man. What's wrong with horse meat? We- so you'd go slaughter a horse and just Dude, go to- gnaw on his leg? Hey, wait a second. Go to Macca's. You get mystery meat you know, any, any day of the week. Uh-huh. What's wrong with horse meat? They just can't legally sell it. As in, like, Ikea. Dude, in Montreal, Canada, they have no, like a restaurant dedicated to horse meat. You know what's wrong with it? Is labelling it beef and pork mm. and selling it. Yeah, that's, that's wrong. Okay, someone labelled it horse yeah, balls. But if it was- <laughs> <laughs> Potato mash and horse balls. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Mom, can we get back here? Why? I want to eat some horse balls. So you can just hear the horses <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no, seriously. No, okay, look at this way. It's like dog, yeah? Mm. We don't eat dog in this country, but they eat it in Korea. They eat it in China. Um, where else I is have it? watched the Vice documentary, the dog eating festival in China. Mm. It's China and Korea. It's pretty... They, they literally go around, pick up all the stray dogs off the street, and just start hacking them up and cooking them. No! Yes. Yeah. Don't they uh, do breathe? the doco. No, no, no. Do Watch the, the fucking documentary, dude. No, um, I've seen the same one. Oh... Uh, it's really. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. No, no, I'm not saying it's you're really. Wrong. It's just, really gruesome. And at each little like individual stall, like you know, like in Thailand, they got little stalls where they have their cooking shit. There's just like cage upon cage stacked up with just dogs just crammed in there, just like. <laughs> it's so. Can you skin sick. a dog though, dude? These guys. They have no. Out. They have zero. Any like empathy towards the dog. It's just like okay. You realize though, like I mean, we domesticated it, but not everyone else has. Yeah, I realize that, but to me, it just seems so foreign and weird. Like dogs are fucking smart and they're cool and they can do shit. <laughs> dogs are smart. I know you hate dogs. You probably- I don't hate dogs for the last time, man. <laughs> you probably eat it with pleasure. For the last <laughs> fucking dude, I was at my sister's a second ago. They have a dog. I was sitting there next to me. Pa- I was patting it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. He'd be eating the dog like, yeah, motherfucker. I'm <laughs> You're an idiot. No, I'm now pretty- who's laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I know that everyone doesn't domesticate them or whatever, but to me it just seems like common sense. Like, dogs are smart. You don't want to eat that. Okay, like, but they eat fucking gerbils and hamsters all <laughs> over <laughs> the joint. Ex-porn gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the ones that have been let go. Yeah. They've got, post- <laughs> <laughs> got PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> they can't find families for them because they've got post-traumatic stress disorder. So just- Would you eat dog? Would I eat dog? Yeah. Tell you what, mate, if I was fucking starving. Yeah. If you weren't starving. No, no, if you weren't starving, if you just didn't. If I had a choice between the lamb fillet and the dog, I'd pick the lamb, <laughs> right? But you can't you dog. can't look down on dog people hater. that eat <laughs> No. But you know what I mean? Like do they it's just food, man. Yeah, I know. I know. Just, I don't know, man. I love dogs. So it seems just, strange it's to a, us. Yeah, it's, I'm silly. Cause I'm, it seems yeah. strange to us, but I hate it when people are like, that's fucking disgusting. It's like, motherfucker, if you were starving, yeah. you'd, be, you'd eating. be eating that shit. How do you think they got to eating this shit? Yeah. Because I was starving and that's what they had. No, I'm being that guy, that typical fucking... No, but it's like, you know what, man? It's like, think about vegetables, yeah? Like, you eat vegetables that other people would fucking be like, oh, I'd never eat that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it just seems strange and... Does that make sense? Even vegetables can seem weird to people, man. Like who? <laughs> Randoms. I'm telling you. I'm fucking... Look, okay, you know what? Crabgrass. Crabgrass, man. And like, um, what's it called? Is it a uh, hickory? Hickory, yeah. Yeah, what do the wogs eat? Horta. Horta, yeah, horta. horta. Is it... It's chicory. It's... Chicory, isn't it? Hang on, man. It's something like that. I'm so confused right now. What's okay, happening? hang on, hang on. So we have Greek. this food that Greeks eat. Wait a second. Tomatoes? I love those. No. <laughs> I'm just going to have a quick vape while you guys look it up. Boiled leafy green <laughs> recipe. Yeah, hang on. Glossary of edible wild greens. That was a good vape. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to find it because I want to make sure I know I, I use the right one. Uh, amaranth, no. Arugula, no, that's rocket. Uh, I love rocket. Yeah, Should I don't mind rocket. You know what I've been eating lately? I've been eating, so I buy mushrooms spinach, eggs, and multigrain toast. And then I saute the, the mushrooms and the spinach in, in butter and garlic. And yeah. I just put it on the toast and I just, like, crack an egg over the top of it. Delicious. It's master chef, oh, motherfucker. Dude, dude. That's, yeah, that's like a... That's... Do you like eating pears? Oh, yeah, I like pears. Okay, let me give you a salad. Nice pair of titties. <laughs> <laughs> dude, nah. it's, it's quite... It's, it's no, I like chicory. Pears. I like pears. I'll give you a recipe in a second. I'm thinking of chicory and I'm thinking of, um, like, crabgrass as mm. well. I'm pretty sure. Those are the two. Dude, Greeks will eat the grass out of the, of a yard. But it's like crabgrass. Yeah. Chicory and crabgrass. Yeah. yeah. Lemon. We boil it. We boil the shit. We wash it, obviously. You can't just go and start grabbing 
grass grains. Oh, I've got something to ask you, boys. You just reminded me. What? Well, yeah. Finish. Finish. No, no, no. But you're gonna forget. You're gonna forget. I so, just write it down. Here's a pen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So you know my old man. <laughs> my old man. <laughs> <laughs> My old man's a naturopath, and he has um, yeah. a lot of Greek patients, as you yeah. know, like he, yeah, yeah. L- a lot of close. Uh, Greek what was friends. the vitamin logos? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And one family in particular, we go over to their house, and I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but I fucking one of my f- most happy memories of my childhood was getting this cooked from him, this this Greek guy. It was like tiny little fish, right? Like yeah. mini little fish, and he'd fry them up oh. with like with some sort of plant from outside. Yeah, you just you eat them. Like it was some are. sort of herb that he'd get, but it was delicious. And he'd yeah. mix it and he'd Is put... Is le- parsley? No, not parsley. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> I know my herbs. It wasn't parsley. Yeah, it was you're something- about the tiny little fish. It's whiting or something, isn't it's it? It's white bait. White, like white fish. Yeah, yeah like white tiny fish. little yeah, fish, and you man. eat the whole thing. You just, eat the whole thing. He'd fry them up. Right, yeah. He'd put lemon, yeah. um, lemon feta cheese. Lemon, oregano. Oregano. Right, that's it. And you know, that, that herb from the garden. Oh, my God. Okay, dude. next week, you know where I want to take you? We're going to go out. I want to take him to a Greek tavern. A Yeah. I want to take him to Elston Week. Jimmy's. Jimmy's, oh, right. yeah. We'll take him to uh, Jimmy. Uh, we'll him, him, Jimmy's, Jimmy's in um in fucking Abbotsford there as well. Oh. I've, hang on, I've been to a Greek tava- tavern in uh, near Malvern. Malvern? This is Nikos Tavern? I don't know. It's <laughs> Jimmy's. It's Nikos, it's George's. It was, it was in Malvern and it was fucking delicious. I got like the meat platter and shit. Had like octopus and We're going to take it. No, no, we'll take it so you can get the fish and all that kind of stuff. The white, yeah, that's white bait, man. <clears throat> yeah, my grandma does it at home. Dude, my mum used to make it as a kid. That was a staple, dude, man. Like, he, would, he would have like the fried fish, right? He'd have them in a big pile. Yeah. And he'd, have, he'd have a bowl, right? And he'd put lemon, oregano, yeah, yeah, olive man. oil. And this this herb, I don't know what it was, like some sort of plant. Like I've never tasted anything like it. And he'd just douse, it with, douse the fish with it. And then Johnny would wake up with no pants on. <laughs> <laughs> With a special herb. <laughs> Oil and shit all over his face. He's on, the, like, up. he's on the grass in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> Wakes up at four in the morning. What happened? <laughs> that's some good fish. Dude, dude. <laughs> that's, that's, one, that's one memory from when I was probably like six Honestly, that I will man, never forget. I love that shit. As a kid, I used to eat that once a week. Oh. Like seriously, my mum would make it all yeah. the time. And we would have it with like a bit but of bread, salad, I've some feta. Had it. I have not had mm. it in years. The last time I had it, I was in Greece. I was oh. actually in Greece. I don't remember which year it was, whether it was like you know, two, 14, 11, or I, think nine. I had it with Ren this year in Greece. Yeah. I will never. Because they brought it out. And they're like, it. oh, do you eat this? I go, are you kidding? Do I oh. eat this? What are you, nuts? Fuck, yeah, bring it on, man. But the way you'd get the little fish is so crispy, like the skin's yeah, you just fry the shit oh. out of them to so the point where it just melts in your dude. mouth, man. But that's what I'm saying, man. I love Greek dude, food, dude. Like we, the fucking bread with the oil and the feta. Man, and the we grew up oh. eating that. We grew up eating that. But how many people would look at it and go, ooh, like I'm not eating fish. What are you doing after this? Let's get a feed. Do you want to? Yeah, man, I've got nothing to do. I've actually got a fridge full of food. <laughs> I'm going to be throwing <laughs> shit out. <laughs> Can I get, where, which table would we go to in this area? Nah, like, we'll just go to Oakley and get him some meat. <laughs> meat? We'll get, a, we'll get a mythos. Meat? <laughs> just get him some meat. We'll get a mythos. Feed the man meat. Yeah. Do you want to get him... Oh, actually, and like, when know. I went to this place in Malvern, the meat the meat platter that I got was fucking the most delicious thing. Just nah, like mate. tender just <laughs> nah. tender stacks of meat. We're going to do... Just right? with lemon. Nah, oh. This is just going to happen. Now that the weather's getting better... All right, I'm going to do one for you. I'm going to do you a, as you would say, a gyro. Yeah, gyro. A gyro. A gyro. Can I get a gyro? I'm going, to, gyros? I'm going to go to the butcher and I'm going to get him to put it on the actual pole for me and I'll start it up for you in the charcoal and stuff. Then you have it fresh cut from the actual... I'm going to hold you to that. No, no, no. Dude, I have barbecues all the time. Yeah. That's my thing. That's no big deal, man, for Greeks. <laughs> no. Like, we dude, I have barbecue we like any excuse. <laughs> we look for any excuse to fry up a lamb like it. Yeah. Dude, when I went to Sydney and I go to Dim, bring the boys around, I'm having a barbie. Yeah. I didn't bring it. No, I got the meat and everything. I did a barbie. Like, yeah. just what did a, I bring? Just, I brought out tzatziki and yeah, salad. Sick tzatziki, man. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean? Just, just to do that kind of shit. It's like a no big deal for us. Right. Okay. One summer night, we're having a fucking giant Greek Summer cook-off. night? Next week, man. <laughs> <laughs> we don't play games. Dude, Greeks, man, their lives revolve around eating food, man. Like, we... Food's the best. With that, that... It's like, more. More. There's no reason. More. Why don't we have more? Is there more? There should be more. Let's have more. You need <laughs> yeah. more. And that's why, if you're inviting five people, you cook 15. Minimum. And because then there's food left over and you give food away. That's the whole thing. You always... You, like, it's like a... Yeah, mate. My dad's always coming home with food. Yeah. Like, always. <laughs> it's always a thing, like, take something home with you or just... Yeah. Just something. By the way, that spinach pie that your mum gave me the other week. Oh, <laughs> my diggity, huh? Me and Indy just devoured it. Oh. <laughs> so she fed the family, We're gonna man. We're going to eat tonight. <laughs> fed the family, man. Dude, just... Delicious. Yeah. Like, I can't... It's fucking delicious. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> nah, we'll make you... A, I'll make you a barbecue. I'm actually hungry now for, like, meat yeah. from, like, um... Mythos. <laughs> yeah, Oakley or Spiro's, you know, on Wagga Road. Oh, yeah. He's got Johnny, all you can Johnny eat. Johnny Des went the other day. Is he good? Still good. Man, still they're all good? you can eat for like 25 bucks. But is it still good though? Yeah. Yeah, apparently Spiro's is still killing it. Really? I haven't been in y
down in my hood, the old hood, the Furniture Gully, Croydon Way, there was Nico's Tavern. <laughs> yeah, I went there. In Croydon. I've been there. Yeah. 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 I had, like, that big the, white building. The yeah, yeah, the big thing. white building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all right. It's all right, it's, it's pretty course. good. You just get the takeaway it's thing. Near, it's in Croydon. I don't think I've been. I'd get like the takeaway type. You get yeah, like the yeah. lamb uh, yeah. quail. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And like the bread and shit. Yeah. That was pretty good. No, no. I I went there with um Ren and a couple of her friends and stuff. And it's actually quite nice. Like, it's a cool restaurant I'm, as well. I'm like, going to yeah, put it yeah. out there. It's, I'm fucking starving right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I bought all this halloumi from uh, Dandy Market the other day. <laughs> No, and my mum loaded me up on a whole batch of feta as well. Like, I'm just thinking, fuck, nah, man. we'll I- get a mythos or something, man. I'm just get a platter. I swear to God, I'm No, seriously, <laughs> when you get over, right, for, it's like 18, 19 bucks. You get a platter of meat. You get chips, Greek salad, mm. bitter bread, tzatziki. I have a raging boner right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we should all... I probably can't do it tonight. Don't, you're the a dog on my case already. <laughs> But I want to do it, like... Already? It's 10 past 5. It's 10 past 5. I wasn't even joking. It's 10 past 5. I just looked at the laptop. It's it's just, she, she hasn't messaged me yet, but on the way out, she was like, so you've been home for dinner, right? Yep, okay. Yep, dinner? So. You're looking home for <laughs> dinner? You've got work to do, man. <laughs> what time's dinner? Whenever I get home. <laughs> so, no, it's, no it's, it's 10 past 5. What time do... Yeah, Aussies eat dinner. I've got no idea. <laughs> <Both me>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not called, that different to you, mate. Dude, it's it's called tea. Oh, tea. Do I'm just sat here telling you how I love the Greek food. When, when do Aussies eat dinner? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying we do eat all hours, man. That's actually good. Yeah, man, I'm the same. I eat dude, fucking dinner at 9 o'clock you sometimes. You know what the sad no, thing like, is, man? Sit down yeah. at like the they've, table. Done, they've done, st- statistically, right, they've done research, and the Mediterranean, like, Greek diet it's in particular, best. it is the best the because best. it revolves around fresh produce. Everything is fresh yeah. produce. There's no very little salt, very, uh, not salt, very little spicing and all that sort of shit. Yeah. It's all just... It is what it is. It's take, a, take an eggplant and fucking cut it up, put it in the oven with tomato. Like, literally, yeah? But these idiots, they fucking let themselves down with two things. Smoking until, like, you know, <laughs> literally coming yeah, out... So the, they could be the healthiest cunts ever. They could be ever. the healthiest yeah, yeah, cunts yeah, yeah, on the yeah. planet, but they smoke like retards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two, they'll work. They'll get up in the morning. They won't have breakfast. They'll have a smoke and a cup of coffee and, you know, like yeah, a yeah. fucksy muddy, like a little tiny dry brisket yeah. thing. Yeah. They'll skip lunch. And then they'll have a snack in the Arvo, they'll finish work, they'll come home, have another nap, yeah. then they'll start thinking about dinner at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock having a night. smoke. That, yeah. that sounds like my people. That's yeah, it's, it's bad. Seriously. Yeah. It's bad. Man, when I was in Greece last, I remember I met up with some mates in Athens. I got to their hotel at like 11.30, man, quarter to 12. And it was like, oh, what are you going to do? Let's go find somewhere to eat. We're starving. All right, mad. We started walking. We got about like, I don't know, I don't know half, yeah, a couple of cases, uh, couple steps down the road. I'm just like, man, do you realize that we're looking for a tavern on like a Wednesday night or a Friday night in the middle of the CBD? Like, and you'll find it too. Yeah. Right? Let's just find somewhere to eat. Here, like kitchens will be closing at fucking like 10.30. You know what but I mean? But now Oakley's nah. open till late. Like, yeah. you, you can go knock on Wednesday and get something to eat now. Yeah. That's why I'm hungry, man. Yeah. Oh, dude, <laughs> after this little conversation we've had, I'm fucking starving. Like, sorry, man. What do you, what do you got for land? dinner tonight? What do you got for dinner tonight? Whatever I stop and get on the way home. <laughs> oh, you're bringing dinner for uh, <laughs> So you can eat with it. It's been doing bread rooster. <laughs> That's it. Strip subs all around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's so filthy. We'll stop. Dude, we'll get straight to Mythos. Oh, man. We'll go to Onyx and just buy like two meat platters and just send them to him. Like, enjoy. Assholes. Do it. Strip subs. Can we do it though one night? Just no. take me out. <laughs> you had your chance, buddy boy. Fine, whatever. I hate you guys. <laughs> no, whatever. Whenever yeah, you don't have Matt. to get dinner for anyone else. Done. <laughs> I love his family. <laughs> no, but like. Yeah. That's rare. Really? No, I'll organise it. We'll do it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> They're all sitting around at the empty dinner table. Tell the missus to order a pizza. Yeah, Johnny's coming dad, over with us. Dad should be home soon. Mm-hmm. Just holding the knife like, in the fork. Yeah, this is <laughs> licking his fingers. That's what I've done. The little ones on the table with a napkin around the thing with a knife and fork. The house is all dark. There's no light. This guy walks in at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Uh, Where were you? <laughs> he just falls over goes just with sleep. a beer in his hand. <laughs> goes straight to the dunny and then goes to bed. <laughs> so accurate, man. That has happened before. <laughs> <laughs> he smashes a, a whopper in the car on the way home. That, that's fucking happened. And then that he gets that he was meant to get dinner for everyone, man. That has literally happened. <laughs> what? Did the sauce run down your top and you walked in? Yeah. Like, he's got the he's got the wet napkins just like wiping his face. They they still love me though. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What? Jeez. 
<laughs> Sorry, man. It's really windy outside, hey? Yeah, no, it's fucked up, man. Mm. Blowing a gale. Mm. All this wind's making me want lamb. <laughs> Dude, did say that there's fucking storms coming in, like, to tonight. Re- Is this tonight yeah, finally yeah. the night? Yeah. I don't know, we're talking about it for well, like two weeks. In Mel- uh, Melbourne Airport, uh, and all a plane here, went to land. Dude, all I've heard for the last two weeks is like, yeah, South, uh, South Australia's taking a beating, Western Australia people are dying, like, yeah. I'm still waiting for the storm. No, you got to no. hear my house on the beach when I'm standing in my garage. You'd cop it. Like, the garage door. Yeah. yeah. Not Actually, a, not your, only your does garage it sound, man sounds possessed. Not only does the garage door sound like it's about to flap off into the fucking <laughs> sky at any moment, <laughs> but it's like sending out this high-pitched whistle, like this howl, yeah, like, the- Woo! Scary as fuck, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> I you, hate it. I'm just, do you know what I'm picturing? This guy having to go fetch his boots or something from like that, from his car at like at one o'clock in the morning and he's scared to go out to the garage because of the noise. <laughs> That's also just, happened. <laughs> that has just also like, happened. Uh, I think I'll just stay here. He's got his phone like as a torch and then light, turns a light on as soon as he goes into the thing. Something kind of similar to that happened. I watched a horror movie the other night, The Babadook, an Australian horror, horror movie. The who? The Babadook. And I was, honestly, when it finished, I was literally scared to go out to the shed to have a smoke. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah seriously. You get, you, I, ended it, up, I ended up, like, talking myself into it. I'm like, just fucking do it, you idiot. Like, <laughs> the whole time I was out there, I was just like, oh, I'm, like, looking around and <laughs> What's shit. What's that about? Babad- Babadook? It's actually really, really creepy. An Australian, yeah? Australian horror movie. Uh, 2014, I think. Okay. Well, I've, dude, I've never heard shit. What is it? Um, really good acting. Um, What's a Babadook? The Babadook is basically like a demon that possesses you. It feeds off the mother's grief. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> but those, those movies always oh, creep me out, like the possession actually, movies. Today, I was flicking through the paper, man. I saw an article about a, an Aussie movie about that Singh um, woman that killed her husband. What was a... Killed her husband? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, a while back. Um, hang on. Uh, Australian uh, case... Oh, what was it called? Hang on. The movie's called Joe's Joe Cinque's Consolation. Ha- haven't heard of it. Yeah, no, it's literally just being released. It hasn't been released yet. Um, hang on, let me just look this up. It was based on that true crime drama. It was based on uh, Anu Singh, who killed a boyfriend with a lethal dose of heroin. Do you remember it? Actually, actually don't, dude. Oh, um, late, it was Singh. She uh, laced uh, her boyfriend's coffee with Rehypnol. And then, like, yeah... Just overdosed him. You don't remember it? No, that's how she killed him, just overdosed yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, overdosed him. Um, but the girl starring in it, in the lead, is actually a girl, uh, Maggie Nur- uh, Nuri. Is it? Hang on. Maggie Nuri, sorry. She's a, I actually cast her in a short film. cast her in two short films in 2009. One of them was a horror. And then the second one... Actually, wait, she wasn't in the second one. She was in the first one, sorry. Not the second one. But yeah, I actually flicked through the paper today and just saw her name. She's in this, like, thing. Oh, so someone that was in one of your films. Yeah, actually. yeah, she's oh, in no some shit, feature that's, cool. that's just come out that's, like, apparently killing it. She was in Wentworth as well. Yep. I don't know, like, they said it was... They said I haven't, it's I haven't seen Wentworth, but I hear it's really good. Yeah, mm. she's in that, then she's killed in this movie. And then I actually started thinking, man, like, she was cast in this short film, yeah, that we had her in. Same short film, my mate uh, Alex Tits. He was, um, you know that Hide and Seek yeah, yeah. show that's out? Mm. He's got a cameo in that. He's in the. Fir- he's the reason why the show exists. So like, he's a cop gets killed off in the first like five minutes. Then the whole show is about like you know his partner getting revenge or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. He was at the same audition for a role in the same short film that she was in. And then I started thinking about <laughs> another short film we did the same year, and same actually it was also in the same short film she was in. It's this actor. He's in that Mitzi fucking ad. Have you seen that? It's a Mitzi ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a Mitzi. Yeah, it's the one when um, because there's a few of them. Yeah. There's the one where he's driving his missus and she gets out of the car. And she's just wearing like a trackies or whatever. And she's like, stay here. Yeah, or stay in the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That know. dude. All right. Yeah. We cast him in the same short film that she was in as well. <laughs> oh wow. All right. And I'm just <laughs> like, this is all like, yeah, five in the morning when you're just like, oh, like your brain's starting to figure shit out. It's starting to dude, kick on. He was um. I actually thought about that dude, right? Because I haven't seen him in anything other than those ads, mm. yeah? <laughs> about six months after he was, like, he was in that short film with us, he was cast in some theatre production that got massive, like, press because he appeared naked in it. Like, nude. Like, he's fully nude. Like, the, the player's got, like, full frontal nudity. Well, was it the full Monty? <laughs> <laughs> he turned up to a radio interview nude. Oh, just lost his marbles. No, like that. That's was, that was his stunt, like his to press promo- to get to promotion to promote it. Mm. Why would you go to a radio interview nude? Because you're an idiot. 
But like, come on, man, have some common decency. No, I, I, At least yeah, there's some speed. If it was a TV <laughs> show, then it makes sense. Yeah, but no one could sunrise. see you on fucking radio. Yeah. Just take my word for it, he's nude. <laughs> 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 Sitting right here, he's nude. I don't know. I was <laughs> hung like, like the proverbial bull. <laughs> <laughs> that was random. I like that. Man. Such a shit pilot. I would have landed that. Right. He saved them. He would have landed it on a quarter, you know. I was like, like a sick. <laughs> See, you say he saved them. I say I would have just landed it and just got them home in time. <laughs> Time. You guys underestimate my skills. What skills? Just with everything. What do you mean? You're very ta- like you're a very talented individual, but just skills. <laughs> you're like the uh, the six million dollar man. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna vape. He's the six dollar fifty man. <laughs> <laughs> Why six dollars fifty? Isn't that how much is a buttery fish pack is? I yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> You're right. Around that. Oh man, I want butterfish. I'm, I'm so hungry right now. Oh, my God. Are you sure you want to go home to your family? <laughs> Not really. I'm actually going to go home and fry up some halloumi. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. I've got like those cabbage roll. Uh, my mum gave me those cabbage roll sort of um, things with the mince and the rice in them. Halloumi is in my top five favorite foods of all time. Oh, dude, it's up there. Like a uh, top five staple, dude. I'm Halloumi, telling you, yeah, halloumi's up there. I can man. just sit there and fry it with the whole block and eat it. I love that shit. Yeah, I bought a lemon. fucking fistful, man, yesterday. It's good shit. <sighs> Best. I'm actually Best. very, very hungry. So I haven't, I haven't had lunch yet. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. I love He's Greek gagging. food, man. <laughs> <laughs> Greek food and Thai food. You know what, man? Thai food. Nah, Thai food. Look, I like. I used to like it a lot, but I think I, I overdid it. And now I prefer, if I've got to pick like a South Asian, Southeast Asian cuisine, I'll pick Vietnamese. Vietnamese is sick. Mm. I'll, I'll go Vietnamese over Thai. We had Vietnamese, Vietnamese just the other night. We got the pho, the pho oh, soup. Pho. That's pho. another place I'm going to take you guys. Have you ever been to Uncle in St. Kilda? No. Me and Ren have been there like four or five times now. Yeah? Sick place, man. Real nice. You'll love it. If you what like, is it? Huh? Vietnamese. It's Vietnamese. Oh, really? But it's more funky, but it's cool as. Like, it's really cool. Why, is cool. it kind of like a trendy. fusion joint? Not really fusion. Still got like... Okay. Yeah. But it's actually really cool. Yeah. Expensive? St. Kilda? Yeah. 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 What you need is like the $2 like fucking clay pots, you know? We've, we've, got, we've got one of those down there. Yeah. Nah, for me, oh. Thai food. <laughs> no, I just got serious. Yeah. Dude, out of all the Asian countries, Thai just takes the cake for me. Like they have the best flavors for me. Just for me, I'm saying. Yeah. Nah, like you such know, a variety and like... I, I did yeah, like nah. it. I did yeah, like nah. it. But I just, I overdid it at one point. And and do, now, you have, do you have any idea how hot I fucking eat it, dude? Like... Oh, yeah. Spice. Like, everything. I tell them to make it hot, and then I get, like, a tub of chilies extra, like, the little ones, and I put it all and on. And can still taste like, your food? Like, I I love it, so I'm sweating, dude. I love the chili, like, so much. What's wrong with you? Oh, he dude. loves the sweat. He loves the pain. Yeah. <laughs> you know? just more and more twisted shit's It's, that, it's an addictive, fucked up personality, it's man. It's just that, I love the pain. Goes home, gets beaten to death. <laughs> Beat me. Yeah, man. I'm so fucked up. <laughs> You're just, you're just a, what's it called? That's why we love you, Johnny.